Hello, my Geminis. This is your February mid-month love reading. Singles, yours is going to be at the end and it's going to be time stamped in the comments. So you can jump right to it. So Gemini, what do we got going on for February mid-month reading? We've got the Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands, the Queen of Swords, or the Queen of Swords, the Three of Swords, We've got the Two of Pentacles, we got the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords. The Ace of, there's many of Swords and Cups here, and the Nine of Swords. So generally, this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. I feel like you've been looking to the future, and you're feeling... A loss not even you might even be having a financial loss and you're presenting yourself as the queen of swords which in this one it's you're very you're very guarded right now and you're being silent is what I'm hearing and they're feeling like there's been a loss for them as well. And they want to bring in, uh, they want to fix this situation, whatever financial situation you guys incurred, they're trying to desperately fix it. Because they want it to go back the way it was where there's the Ten of Cups and they're seeing this in the future. Happy home, happy life, you know, abundance of love. And there's the um, Eight of Swords where it's like walking away from difficulty. They still want communication with you. They're feeling so trapped in what they did. It's like they made a bad financial decision and it greatly affected you. So let's see. For the Five of Pentacles, clarifying that is the Ace of Pentacles. So you are going to come forth, or they are, with some explanations of what the hell happened. With the Three of Wands looking into the future, you're lamenting about love lost. Even though there's two cups still full from the five, and then there's three that have dumped over. So there is a younger person around you. I think this um, actually could be a third person. Maybe because of this, you guys are separated <clears throat> and you've got someone younger in the picture. And with the Three of Swords, the Nine of Wands. So they're, they're preparing for battle. They want to work this out with you. And they are feeling defensive, but they're like, no, I'm not letting this go so easily. And with the Two of Pentacles comes the Princess of Wands. And they also might have someone. So you guys might have been separated for a minute. And they're not communicating with you that they want reconciliation. Like openly. They're trying, but it's, it's like very half-assed. It's the Six of Cups here. So even though you're trying to walk away from the difficulties of the situation... 
the two of you are like soulmates, twin flames, you know, like past life loves, something, and you will only be the, no the one to know that, but there is, you know, the Ten of Cups, here's the Six of Cups, which that's what that rec rec which I recognize it to be. With the um, Ace of Swords, it's the Lover's Card in Reverse. So you guys are trying to figure out how to do this. And he really misses what he had with you. He, she, you know, flip, flip it as it um, resonates. But if I'm reading it correctly, which I think I am, there is, you have someone and they have someone. With the Nine of Swords, there's the Justice card. Both of you want justice. Ah. And the Three of Pentacles. So you guys want to rebuild the financial situation that you had on a solid foundation because obviously it was not set on a solid foundation. Now, if you choose to go forward and reach out to this person, how will they react? They will come to you gallantly and wholeheartedly is what I'm hearing. And I heard the tail between their legs. And then they're also going to come in looking like the Prince of Cups. They're going to be offering something to you. So I don't know who's going to be the one breaking the ice, but um, I don't sense that there's any children involved. But, you know, expect some little bit of arguing still. But <laughs> it's showing here that if he has to take you over his shoulders, and not in a bad way, he will do it. He is wanting his victory. And like I said, this isn't in a bad way. Yeah, because this is what I think both of you want, is the Two of Cups. You want that reconciliation. So if you're brave enough to go to him and say, hey, he or she or they, whichever it is, someone's going to have to be brave. But both of you want it, and it's going to be a little sticky because both of you have other people on the side. Because you've been separated for a minute. So I hope that was helpful. And we will jump right into the singles reading. Let's see. Single Geminis. We've got the Star card. The High Priestess. You're trying to find balance and you're kind of going within and experiencing that divine part of you because you might have a third party situation you want a new beginning and i i'm not getting that you want to have either of them to be honest There is some fighting between the two of you, or maybe even between all of you, between the three of you. But, you know, one of them comes in as the cup, the king of cups. The other one comes in as the knight of wands. So that the younger one comes in fast, and the other one's a little more subdued and mm, his heart isn't quite open. So... What is the action you should take? You might just want to let it go. You know, because it seems like there's a stalemate here. And when you let it go, then I think you're going to get some resolution. 
Because you're like, I don't want to be single forever, and I don't want, like, these rando guys trying to, you know, fight over me. So for the next set, there is the Knight of Cups, which is an offer of love coming in. The Judgment card reversed, even though I turned it up. We've got the Three of Cups. So you're kind of feeling like there is love offers coming in, and there was some judgment in the past about it. And the Three of Cups was also reversed, so it's kind of like party's over, everybody go home, everything's done. But let's see what else. So you've got like, you're kind of feeling like there's no new horizons right now. There's new, no new dating opportunities. Is there someone else coming in? Now there's been lamenting over spilled love, so to speak, but not recognizing that there's still love there. Someone came in and wanted victory with you, but it is reversed. So kind of the same story going on. But, you know, in the past you thought you could manifest what you wanted. And I think if you go at it again, you can. But don't be discouraged. Because there is love coming in. It might just be a hot minute. So somebody's experiencing the dark night of the soul or just went through it because there was a page of cups who was coming to you. You're trying, you were trying to stay balanced in this situation, this person you were dating. <clears throat> yeah, because they definitely viewed you as the empress, but I think it was a younger energy that you were dating. And they came in with some false promises. Like they, they were appearing more serious than they were because you wanted the Ten of Cups, which is happy home, happy life, and they couldn't offer it. So, yeah, there's the broken heart card. So you're healing from that. And I say don't give up because just around the corner, even without shuffling the cards, I can feel that there's new love coming. Yeah, don't keep lamenting on love lost because you're going to lose the opportunity because there's a page of wands coming in. Okay. Keep the faith. New things are coming in. Gemini, I hope this was helpful. And pick which one mostly resonated with you. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the future. Bye-bye. Thank you.